we have an employee ID. And we need to look up the record for this employee ID from the business that we work for. Well, luckily, we've already set up in data, data types, organization. When I click over here, we've set up a data type. And when I click the employee records, the entire record for that employee is stored in the cell using data types. If I click the card icon, it shows me all the information for that employee. If I want to look up the employee phone number, I make a formula, click on the data type, down arrow to phone and tab, and boom, I've just looked up the phone number. Now, this cool trick requires that you have Office 365, a Power BI Pro license, and you have access to the workspace in Power BI where the table for the employees is stored. We have our employee table stored in an Excel table in this file. I'm going to close this. I have a Power BI desktop file. And in the Home Ribbon data group, we'll use Power Query to import that from Excel. In the Navigator window, we'll select that Excel table. We want to transform this. You can make any transformations or changing the data types that you want. We want to close and apply. Now we go down to Model View. Make sure the table is selected. In the Properties pane, Is Featured Table, we turn this on. We'll give it a description. For the Row Label, we're going to select the first column, Employee ID. The key column is Employee ID. And when we click Save, we see the slider change to Yes, and there's an icon next to Employee ID. But by doing this, when we publish this to Power BI Online, and you're logged into Excel, because you're in the organization, the data types will show up in Excel. Click Publish. Click Save. Now we need to select a workspace. Select. It's publishing. Now when we open up our file and we're logged in, and we have access to that workspace up in Data, there it is. And here's how it works. This table, imagine this isn't here. In fact, let's Control N to open up a new one. And we know we want to see 526-900 and 526-898. Those are two employee IDs. And you want the cards to show up in this new blank workbook. You highlight, and we apply a data type. Data, data type. And there it is, employee. And just like that, we are accessing that single source of truth stored at PowerBI.com or Power BI Online. All right, in the comments, I want to hear what you think about this new organizational data type.